Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 Let's Play. I know it's been a minute since the last episode, but we're about to make up for some lost time. So, uh, if you look over here, I added a few more things to the to-do list board. I extended it out a little bit and added some more stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put over here just yet. But to name off some of the few things that I have put on here is I got to get creative, build more stuff. So, I really want to build more stuff. I mean, I've kind of lost interest in this until I figure something out what I want to do with it. So, it'll probably be a little while before we get back to that. Uh, but I do want to build more stuff, like maybe on something on top of this hill and whatnot. We also got to get more iron, so we got to go caving for that. Um, but I actually do have an idea for this. And then I also want to build a rail system. So when I top this up, I kind of wanted it to go hand in hand with get more iron. And I'll explain what that what I mean by that. Uh, I want to make a mine shaft where it, when it goes down underground, uh, we start placing some rails. And then that way we have a like, quick transport to go underground. But um, what I wanted to do for this episode is I wanted to actually just make my own mine shaft. Because I was initially thinking go caving some more, but I actually have a much better idea than that. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm thinking maybe somewhere right here. I make like, uh, I don't know how I want to do it, maybe 5x4 or something like that. Square right here, and then start making a traditional like staircase going down underground. And it goes to different levels, like coal level, iron level and diamond level so i think that's what i'm gonna do for today's episode and we're gonna go ahead and start clearing out some of the landscape here because i really want to make a mine shaft that leads down to oh hey there's quite a bit of mobs over here that kind of uh just spawned i don't really think i need the leather or anything i initially thought i did but i don't think i need it for anything so let's see one two three four uh five so like right here maybe let me add these this dirt back because i don't want to make it longer than it needs to be i'll push that back a little bit so yeah something like this this can kind of end up somewhat being the the main entrance to said mine so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to clear this out, push it back into the mountain a little bit, and then we'll start digging straight down and start going uh, underground to look for mainly iron, because I think I want to do... I do want to get diamonds, of course, but um, I kind of am just looking mainly for iron so I can keep up my supply of iron tools. If I can find diamonds, that'd be great. But I don't think we have went caving enough really or done any mining a lot lately because uh we've been mainly focusing on building but i'm in desperate need of some resources whether that be dirt to shape the landscape a little bit or uh let's see one two four so probably gonna be this tall yeah i'm definitely needing some resources in order to do some more building like I'll need a whole ton more cobblestone and that's the thing with <laughs> older Minecraft there's not a whole lot of uh, a block palette to be working with so cobblestone is probably going to be our main resource that we build with and I'm already getting cave sounds what the heck man ooh scary <laughs> but uh, I definitely need a lot more cobblestone I'm definitely going to need plenty of dirt too so I'll take that because uh, I'm going to need that for when we do more builds and I'll have to go logging at some point, too, because my supply of logs is definitely not uh, a whole lot at the moment. But if I go ahead and remove this wall real quick, it should break any minute. But if I go ahead and remove the wall, then jump back over here to maybe take a look at it. The lock is kind of annoying me a little bit. I may actually just push this back a little bit. Look at that. Okay, so that's a little nicer. 
I don't know why you're jumping into a dirt wall. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to judge you, Mr. Sheep. But uh okay, yeah, you do your thing. I'll I'll be over here talking to the the people watching the video. <laughs> you go do your thing over there. But yeah, this is what I was thinking. Like this, something like this, so if like we get back a little bit over here. I mean I kinda like it. It's got like a little mine entrance, and then here's what I was thinking too is once we start getting into doing the rail system, because we'll definitely need iron. I think we need iron when we build rails. Uh, it's been a minute since I've played, but I'd like to have that rail system come outside here and maybe stop right here or something. I think that'd be a cool idea. And we line this area up with cobblestone. Because I don't want it to be dirt when, it, when the rail comes out this way. I want it to be cobblestone. Oh. We'll get to that eventually. Uh, this is three high. I'm gonna make it one more high. I want it to be five. That's five, and then that's four. So I want it to be five by four. Oh, and my tool broke. Okay. I figured. Figured we would run into gravel. Oh, oops. I do not want to place that there. Uh, dirt. Oh, I already got some dirt. Let's place some torches. Um... I don't know why that kind of bothers me, but I like to have it like that. Uh, it looks much better. It was bothering me a little bit right there. So I don't know. Maybe we'll go out like two more blocks and then see what that looks like before we start digging down. And the reason why I'm doing it this big as well uh, is because... Not only do I want the rail cart to go down, like in the middle here, but I do want set a set of stairs on both sides. I think this would allow me to have enough room for stairs. Just in case, like, maybe rail cart system that we... The rail cart system that we build, in case a rail cart actually uh, gets stuck somewhere on a rail, like up here or down there. Or, or if, like, maybe we forget our rail cart or something. Or if something happens to it, we'll be able to still get up this way pretty easily. So that's kind of why I want to be able to add stairs as well at the same time. I think it's getting dark. It gets dark pretty fast on the beta version, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and go sleep real quick and then we'll, uh, we'll finish what we were doing. All right, brand new day. Uh, does it can't track the days? It does. It's day 34 right now. So we've spent so far 34 days in this world. <laughs> it doesn't seem like 34 days, but it's been 34 days. Dang it, man. Aim for that to happen. At least we got some flint out of that to make some more flint and steel if we ever need it. We'll definitely need it for when we go to the nether. I think the nether's in this version, is it not? But I've been playing a lot of uh, modern Minecraft lately. It's been... Um, I can't remember how many days I've survived so far on there. I'll have to do a world tour at some point. I ain't got a whole lot of builds. I'll have to do like a progress update or a world tour update. Um, just to show you guys like what I've been up to in that. Because, like, when I'm not recording videos... Like, I've been into Minecraft so much lately, as you guys can tell from the channel. Um, I want to go ahead and start digging down right here. But I've been into Minecraft a lot lately. To the point where I've just been playing a lot of, like, modern Minecraft as well. Just trying to figure that, that out. Uh, let's see... I don't remember how many days. I'll have to do a progress update showing you guys what I've done. I'm thinking I want some stairs right here and then the rail cart 
system. Like I leave a block in the middle, kind of like this. And then like the rails come up right here. So that's exactly what we'll probably have to do. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and mine those though, because I'm just going to place cobblestone in the middle anyway. So it's not going to really matter if I leave a stone in the middle. Might as well just get it out of the way so it's just not like they're in the way while we're trying to do our thing, you know what I mean? But um, I had a hankering for coming back to... What is that over there? Hang on. That mean to press that button. Oh, it's a squid. What? Did a squid spawn in our, our farm? What? We got squids in our farms. Like, why are they in our... Why are they in our farm? <laughs> why are they in here? They don't even make any noises when you hit them, either. Can you even do anything with the ink sack? I know you can... used to be able to make, uh... Uh, 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 black dye with uh, the ink sacks. What we'll have to do eventually, though, is we'll have to go under each of these layers of uh, uh, wheat. Like once we mine up, like once we uh, harvest all of this, I don't know why I said mine. <laughs> but uh, once we harvest all of this, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go under here and do like the old method because I think in this version that you can just walk on them. And it tramples them. It's like if you accidentally walk on one of these, it'll trample it. And it'll mess it all up. So we're going to have to uh, do the old method of like getting fence posts and placing it under the block itself. Just to kind of help prevent us. That's supposed to prevent you from tra trampling it for some reason. Um, and I'd st I don't do the this method of farming in modern Minecraft but anymore. But, like, in this version, I've just been putting out layers of water that way. But I think I think in this version, you can just, like, place a block of water under a block, and it still fertilizes, like, or it still waters the dirt that the seeds go into. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to update this farm. This is kind of just something I threw together in one of the episodes. But this is something we'll have to update eventually. Hey, Mr. Chicken. What are you doing? I have to change that key behind. I keep doing that. Uh, if you guys are curious, I'm pressing C to zoom in when I'm supposed to be pressing V. Because C is kind of the key behind. I still use, I use, uh, I use fabric in modern Minecraft and just use um, very basic mods to enhance the vanilla experience, like fresh animations. Uh, uh, I also do a map mod and whatnot, and I also do, uh, since I do fabric, I can't do Optifine, so I do, uh, like, Iris for shaders, and Zoomify for zooming in, and, uh, the, the keybind for that is, is C, so that's why I'm still kind of stuck on cursing. Okay, I think that's something just walking on stone. It almost sounded like something. Hang on a second. I don't normally do this to cheat. Okay, yeah, there's like two mobs over there. I don't normally do that, but I, that actually genuinely freaked me out. Actually, that genuinely freaked me out. I was like, that sounded like blocks were being broke. But if I was like, if I was correct, nothing can break blocks other than like creepers if they explode or us. I was genuinely creeped out by that. Um, but I'm still showing me uh, create this mine shaft for the most part because I don't want to skip a whole lot of it. So I feel like uh, you guys, it, it's a let's play. I feel like I, you guys need to be along for the, the ride, of course. I don't want to... Uh, do a whole bunch of progress because I know of I've seen some YouTubers do it, but I don't want to make a whole bunch of progress and not bring you guys along with me for that progress. 
I don't know. That's just something that I'd much rather do because, I mean, I know we're about 12. This is episode 12. I know we're 12 episodes deep now. Uh, but I'm still figuring out the editing style that I want to use for. Yeah, I'm still not that great at editing. And since I'm trying to put significantly more effort into my edits, or video editing style, um, I'm just not really sure how I want to do it. So, I don't know. We may make cuts. We may not make cuts. We'll see. Wondering why that looked a little weird. Get some creepy cave sounds. Oh, no. See, like, you can, you can hear that, and it sounds a lot like... The lock's being broke. It sounds the same as me just walking, but it still sounds like blocks being broke to me. I don't know, does that creep anybody else out? I'm acting like I'm scared of... <laughs> scared of Hero Brian here, even though... Uh, I mean, I genuinely was scared of Hero Brian as a kid, and if you guys seen uh, the thump from the frog... Frog? From the fog. I don't know why I said frog, it kind of just... Came out that way. Looks like we're using our diamond pick now. It's significantly faster, so hopefully we'll get more cr progress done at a much faster pace. But as a kid, I was uh, I, I definitely was scared of meeting Hero Brian in, in Worlds. The point where uh, when I made a world, I was like literally looking out for him. Scared that he was like watching me in the distance. And, you know, as a, the, I, I can't really call it out specifically, but I do remember those times that I thought I did come across Tyrell O'Brien. But it just was just me being a kid in my imagination. <laughs> so, like, I have no idea. Uh, we're still at Y level 63. We got a bunch of blocks to be digging out to be going much, much further down. Because we want to get to, like, diamond level, so... That's kind of the whole point of this, is that it's going to be pretty deep. So if we run into some coal, of course, as well. I do have a... I do not have a crafting table. But I will make one, of course. Because... Um, I want to be making stairs at the same time as I'm doing this. I'm just placing stairs above me. Because as we go much further down, I don't want to have to do all that afterwards. I just want to go ahead and start making some stairs. I'll leave a gap in the middle for when we place a cobblestone block here because I'm going to place cobblestone blocks down the middle and just have Just have a uh, rail system going on top of those cobblestone blocks going down. It's probably going to be a little annoying trying to get all the gold as well for the powered rails that I got to have to make this work. But my my plan is to get this done is that once we get down to diamond level, gold should spawn down that right around that level too. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make a huge room like a. I don't even know what size I want it to be yet either. Um, we're going to make a huge room and kind of just make like a, I don't know, like, for example, this is just imaginary numbers that I'm throwing out just to give an example, but like, we get down to diamond level, then, in, then the entire room, like say, going in this direction and going in this direction is a, um, six by six you know six blocks across six by blocks up and we're just digging in that direction in a six by six kind of what we're doing here with a five by four i'm just going to do that until we hit gold and diamonds and just hopefully uh, get enough gold in the meantime while we do that and may, we may hit a couple caves along the way too so there's always that possibility of hitting some caves and being able to get some uh, gold that way. 
I do want to make sure this stays lit up because I don't want no mob spawning down here while I'm trying to make this. And eventually I do need to make a storage room because I'm going to get a more cobblestone than I can handle. Uh, but I do have an idea for that. And I do want to go out here and show you guys real quick where I do plan on it. I do have to sleep real quick. So I might as well go ahead and do that. There you yep, go. There's a creeper. He's dead. I don't know why I walked up to him because I was expecting XP to pop out. That's how much I've been playing Modern Minecraft lately. At least we can sleep, even though there's a, cre there's a creeper outside. There we go. So this is kind of the idea that I had uh, in regards to a storage room. So I was thinking of like just having one where maybe we have some stairs that go down right here or on the back side, on both sides here, that like kind of go this way. Like you start here on both sides, by the way. Start here, and you start going downstairs. Eh, I don't know if that would work because of this. It's not really that big. Not big enough. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe maybe have some stairs that are back here on both sides, or maybe just on one side. Maybe just on this side. They go downstairs, and it's going to be a room about this size as well. And it's just going to be multiple chests downstairs. So we'll have a basement storage here in this base. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Get away, creeper. Nope. Don't you dare blow up the house. Okay. Got some gunpowder, so maybe one day we might make some TNT. That might make making a mine a little easier at some point. But back into the mine shaft we go, I suppose. I don't know why I went to sleep at the house, um, because I do have a bed on me. We could have just slept at the down here. I'm sure it wouldn't be too bad to sleep down here. I know this version has nightmares, so like, got like random mobs that just pop out of nowhere when you uh, are sleeping. Again, just being nightmares, I suppose. I'd really wish we had enchantments, so that way we can just get unbreaking. Uh, that way my pickaxe won't break so easily while I'm trying to do this. I was thinking that we could probably put reverse upside down stairs on the ceiling. But then I got to thinking, we can't exactly do that because adjusting myself in my seat, so I apologize if you guys hear that, but we can't exactly do that because this version doesn't have upside down stairs, so that that kind of sucks, but that's one thing I miss, but uh, just adds to the simplicity, I suppose. It sounds like we're about to hit a mine shaft, or a, not a mine shaft, but a cave. Because I'm he hearing a lot, awful lot of noise as far as like zombies and skeletons. We're about to hit a mine shaft at some point. Just not exactly sure to win. We may not even hit it. Imagine my luck. We just don't even hit it. And we just get to the point where it's like just barely above us or below us. If that does happen, I will try to probably probably find it. And just light it up with torches so that way we don't constantly hear just mobs in the background just uh, doing whatever it is that mobs typically do when they're in deep dark caves. Found some more coal, so that's helpful. Probably gonna have to go back to the the base. Oh, yep. Here we go. Oh gosh. Let's 
Skeletons are literally my worst enemy. <laughs> like, I can handle spiders and zombies and creepers, but, like, when it comes to... <laughs> comes to, uh, skeletons, they actually make my butt cheeks quiver a little bit. Hey, this is kind of a big area. I like it. We'll just place some torches down just to prevent anything from spawning in if we can. And we'll probably just seal it off for now. I know I could probably explore it and maybe find some iron, but uh, I do want to get this mine shaft done. Because the whole purpose. The whole purpose of this mine shaft right here is to go straight to diamond level. It's not to worry about any of the cave systems or anything like that. I may like branch it off with a door or something to go to this uh, cave system, but it's not really the main focal point that I'm going for when it comes to this uh, rail system, because I don't want the rail system to like, cut off right here. Want to go all the way down, so we'll definitely be blocking this section off with some cobblestone. And just continue to keep going down, I suppose. At some point, let's see what wild level are we at now? We're at wild level 53. So we still got a bunch more mining to do. It's going to be quite a while before we get to where it is we need to be. This mine system. But once we get up here, see this is kind of the point of why I want stairs. I have to sit here and constantly jump. I can just walk down or walk up if need be. But uh... Let me run into some iron while we're down here. Do you hear a zombie somewhere? Hopefully he's not coming this way. I know those things like to sneak up on you sometimes without making you aware of their presence. See, how do we block this off properly? I don't like that, is what I was thinking. And then, uh, I guess we're going to have stairs like right here. go so if I place a crafting table I thought I had one somewhere actually up here I think place my stairs so I have some empty space for it mm, throw that brown mushroom out
There we go. And then some stairs are probably gonna be like right here. The other door. Right there. That way you have like a little bit of access to uh, get to that, get back to that mine shaft or that cave. Go pick this mushroom back up, and then I want to go back and place at least some. Uh, I've already made some chests for the storage room, but I'm gonna go ahead and go place some of them above. Did that guy just disappear in front of me? That's weird. But yeah, hey, it's getting night time. Okay. Um. Yeah, here we go. I'd like to have a couple chests dedicated to uh, cobblestone and whatnot, so. Here we go. A bunch of random stuff, dirt and gravel, and then cobblestone right there. Um, those are just going to be temporary. I will definitely not be leaving those there. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. I kind of like the way they look right there. In the... Cause this, this room needs to be filled up with something. I just don't know what I want to do with it yet. Same, same with this up here. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it yet. A little dark in here too, so I'll play some shit uh torches right there. I'll place a couple in the corner right here as well. And then see right there. Kinda give it a little bit more light. But I don't know exactly what I want to do with these rooms. I'm not sure what I want to do with this, but I'm mainly concerned about this room right here. Um I don't want it to be a storage room. Because I want to design one that's under in the basement. Kind of give us a little bit more of a reason to come here and visit that area a little more often. Let's sleep real quick. But that's kind of the reason why I want to put the storage area in the basement down there. Because it can always be expandable. We can just keep going down, making multiple levels for multiple chests. But... Uh, I kind of just want to give this section of the house a little more reason or a little more purpose since we're currently staying here because, I don't know, maybe in the future we may make a different base and move there and move out of this base, but that's in the distant future for now. Uh, I didn't mean to grab these chests. I didn't want to take them with me. I didn't want to take them with me. So I was always told a rumor that if you kill all the animals in one area, that they stop spawning. I know in modern Mon Minecraft you want to leave two alive if you're wanting to make a breeding farm if you're building within that area. But like I was, I've always been so scared to like to kill like two of these. I'd be so scared to kill the last two because if they die, they just wouldn't spawn anymore. We got us some leather. I guess we'll find out, though, if they stop spawning. Because we killed four of them right there. I was always just scared of just killing them, because killing animals if I was building in the area. Because I didn't want them to stop spawning. You know. I guess we'll find out since we killed four of them right there. We'll find out if they'll spawn here or not anymore. I guess I want to take you with me. Oh, no, I didn't mean to throw my torches down there. Oops. Guess we better keep going, because currently we are at Y level 50, so we still got a little bit. Alright, so we are at Y level 17. 
Um, I didn't want to go any further down. There's a lot of mobs that spawned around us. I didn't mean to check, but yeah, there's a lot of them that spawned around us. And uh, I didn't want to go down too much further because there was lava down below and I had to cover it with obsidian. The obsidian just takes so long to uh, mine up, so um, I wanted to go to Y level 17 and maybe as we branch out, those my separate individual mines can probably go down a couple more blocks to get to diamond level. But this is what I did so far with uh, the staircase as well. You can all, all see all the way up there. Dang it, I keep pressing that button. Um, you can't really see all the way up there. It's kind of foggy, but you can kind of see it when I zoom in. Kind of a weird effect when I zoom in. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I had all the, added all these stairs and added the blocks in the middle like I wanted to. And eventually rail carts are going to go, uh, rail, the tracks are going to go over the top of this and go down the middle into like a, like a quote unquote hub area eventually once we, uh, mine this out further in that direction. Um, I don't want, I'll, I'll do that here in a little bit, but, um, I'm going to go up here and show you a little bit more. So here's the ceiling a little bit as well. Um, I did have to mine it out one more up. Because the way I was mining it, um, I guess along somewhere along the lines, I had accidentally uh, messed it up. So when I was going down like this, it was like bumping me in the head. So I went up here and found out that um, I did I needed to go up one more at one section. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> but uh, here's the ceiling as it is now. I don't know if I want to leave it like this or not. I, it looks a little ugly. The walls and ceiling looks a little ugly. I'm I'm happy with the stairs in the the center here, but eventually we'll pretty it up a little bit. Maybe add some wood going all the way up and down here, and then I don't know what I want to do for the ceiling yet. But we may make it go up one more. Or we may like level this side out with this. But I kind of like the effect that it gives when you look down at it because it's got like this one slit right here for the railroad uh, going down underground, and then. And then it's got the stairs section right here. So I kind of like the effect that it gives having what I'm uh, mined out down the, uh, the center of this. Um, I do want to go drop some stuff off. We did uh, explore some caves. I'm pretty sure I showed that. We did explore some caves as well uh, in there and inside of here. And also there were some caves I ran into down there while I'm trying to build this. But um, we did get a decent amount of iron, some gold, not a whole lot. Uh, but that's the purpose of this mine is once we get down there and build like the the hub area down there It's gonna have smaller separate branching off paths off to different sections I guess of strip mines just to kind of start mining for diamond gold and all the other stuff in between uh, So there's that we're looking forward to doing that. Let me go ahead and drop some of this off get some of this iron cooking because um this is my current iron supply at the moment and we do got quite a bit more uh oil as well so i want to throw this in here uh sorry uh shadow let me second it. oh, where is it there it is. there it is okay so um i don't want i was thinking of adding the the nether portal somewhere here build like a section underground or up there or something but then, like, the nether portal sound would be pretty annoying. So I just, I decided against that pretty quickly. It didn't take long for me to decide against that. I'm going to throw a lot of this stuff in here um, for now. Kind of get it out of the inventory and out of the way. Um, my diamond pick's about to break, which is a bit unfortunate. I think I have some more diamonds. Well, I thought I did somewhere. Um, I guess not, which is very unfortunate because that means this iron, this diamond pick's going to break and we're going to be going back to iron, which, uh, which is terrible. I hate that, but it's fine. I just want to go ahead and make some uh, more iron picks while we're at it. All right, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll put this up here. It's cold. Um... But yeah, oh, we gotta sleep. But yeah, um, I want to build a section somewhere for the Nether portal. Uh, I forgot 
but I still got cobblestone right here in my inventory. Oops. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. That'll be something to add to the to-do list up here. Actually, real quick. Might as well go ahead and do that while we can. Alright. Build. Dedicated. Building. Or. Nether. Portal. So, yeah. I want to build a dedicated house or base or building or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter what it is specifically for this nether portal um kind of preferably a little further away from the base so i don't have to every time i'm coming out of here that i don't hear the portal as it's going so that would kind of suck um if I, that was happening so i'm thinking maybe somewhere back there or uh or maybe up here or some somewhere over here i don't know um i kind of want to make it like a medieval castle style like with cobblestone and wood and whatnot uh, if we found some mob spawners, we would uh, probably use the mossy cobblestone as well to, in that build. But until then, um, cobblestone and wood's kind of really all we got. Uh, I don't want to add it to that because that's going to be some kind of different base. I don't know. And I promise I'll finish it at some point. I just don't know exactly what I want to do with it. Uh, but anywho... Um, I like to make like a little mini castle or something around here to put the nether portal in. Uh, maybe somewhere in that direction. Who knows? Uh, we'll figure that out That out eventually. So, I guess I'm going to go back down here in this mine shaft and start mining out a little bit more of what I am intending to do. Alright, so this is the progress that I've got done so far for what I was going for. So, of course, you know, like I said before, I got the rail coming down this way. It's going to stop right here. I'm going to have a button right here with a powered rail, and it's going to shoot you up that way. And I'm going to have some powered rails up this way in order to keep you moving. But um, this is kind of the room I was wanting to go for. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I want to do it, whether I want to start mining out this whole section going that direction and the same for this side or if I want to kind of split this off in this in small sections right here like maybe um, for example once we get in the middle here maybe have like from this block to that block going in that direction and that block from that block going in that direction uh, to kind of give like um just two different sides of a mine shaft have more of a chance to find diamonds because we are on Y level 17 and I'm pretty sure you can still find diamonds at this level. I'm not entirely sure. I just know you got to go to level, level 12. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a separate set of stairs on both sides here. That'll go down a little bit and then extend out in that direction. And I may actually do both. I may do that and then have these going side to side with multiple my mini shafts going in that direction. So like maybe we'll have one here and this wall extend out like maybe 200 blocks that way. And then have like four or five more uh, alongside each other. So that's kind of my plan for now. Um, if I did block this off a little bit, there is, if you go in that direction, there is a cave system. Um, I explored it a little bit, got some iron and gold and whatnot. Uh, but uh, I, I blocked it off for now. I mean, we will probably run into it anyway at some point if we extend this wall out. Um, so it won't really matter, but I blocked it off for now so no mobs can, uh, get in here. Let me just make sure that I've extended this out as far as it, uh, evenly on both sides. Uh, so like one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this wall right here actually needs to go out one more. I knew it looked a little off while I was looking around. It looked a little weird, so, I mean, it's no big deal. We'll extend it out just one more, um... I do like things being symmetrical, otherwise it kind of just really kills my OCD quite a bit. <laughs> um, so I might as well just go ahead and do this, otherwise I'm not going to stop thinking about it this entire episode. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to make this my main mine shaft, or main, yeah, main mine shaft where I go down here and get all my resources, whether it be iron, diamond, gold, 
uh, coal, because coal, quite a bit of coal is down here as well, and redstone. Um, so this is going to be my main mine shaft where I get all my resources. Be building up at the top. And I keep pressing that same button. I wish I could change it. Uh, I'll, I'll get used to it eventually, guys, I promise. But, um, yeah, so, and since, since this is going to be my main mine shaft, uh, it will extend, it'll keep extending and extending in the future so this mine shaft will definitely get bigger and bigger and bigger and um, the more builds i do and whatnot when i need more cobblestone and other resources as well so um maybe even like what i was thinking is once this extends out maybe start mining in this direction as well like start going back so like maybe um keep this wall here and then the next block over from this one the next block over um, do six by six, well, three by six, and just go in that direction. Um, just to cover all of our bases that we possibly can to give us the maximum amount of chance of getting a lot of cobblestone, dirt, and whatnot, and also, uh, diamonds and other resources. But this is what I wanted to do so far, but, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and hop off here because I am super tired. I'm going to go up here to the house and drop off some of these resources in the chests and whatnot and then i will sign off okay so now that we got those in there i'm gonna deposit these resources that we gathered while we were down in that mine shaft or cave of our own creation um i'm not sure exactly when i'll be able to build the nether portal that'll be a little bit further once we start getting more diamonds, so I don't think we're anywhere near ready for the nether whatsoever. So that's going to be a much, much later project or thing that we do. So we won't really get to that at the moment. And I definitely do not want to rush. Can I do anything with this lapis? Is it like, can I make a block? I can. I make a, I can make a lapis block. So um, I was wondering what they use for. Since there is no enchantments, I was wondering what they use for this is. So it's, I guess it's for decorative purposes at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so let's take a look up at our objective board. Uh, from here on out, I kind of want to start completing a little bit more um, like objectives here that I've got. So like, I'd like to at least complete one objective per episode. So, uh, I mean, I, I guess you could like put right here, build a mine shaft, build main, our main mine shaft or something like that. Um, eventually that's, I'm going to have a bunch of chests down there too. So like, this will be my main storage up here, but like, I'm going to have like a, the room filled with chests down there along the wall. Um, just to deposit a bunch of resources so I can keep staying underground and not having to come back up and deposit the resources here. And then once we're done, we can sort it out and bring all the resources in those chests down there up here. So I think that's probably what I'll do, and it'll kind of count as like a base and a mountain, I guess. Not really, no. I mean, it'd have to be a mountain, not underground. So I don't think that would really count. Uh, but we would have to... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. But, um... Let's see, I th we we did get more iron, so that's a that's one objective. That's one objective completed. So, we did complete that objective, we did get more iron. Uh, I, def I could always use iron, though. Uh, for some reason, there is a spider over there. I'm not sure what you're doing over there, buddy. But, we did complete that, we did um, get more iron. So, that's technically one objective completed this episode. So, like I said, I'd like to complete more objectives as we go along so maybe in the next episode um i don't know how easy it is going that's going to be to build this so that may be a little bit of a challenge but we'll see i may be able to get it done uh since we got some gold and whatnot we might be able to make some uh powered rails actually you know what hey let's let's actually go see if we can make something quick since we got some gold we got 17 we ain't got very many. Uh, let's see. I got redstone right here. I'm definitely going to need some redstone torches. Let me get. I'm going to need more wood, of course. Uh, put that right there. So redstone torches. I'm going to need quite a few of these. I don't know exactly how many we'll need, so we'll just get like 15 for now. Uh, so 
let's see. How exactly do I make a... Uh, how exactly do I make a... I don't know. Hang on. Let me, get, let me look up the recipe. I don't really remember how to build a, a part. All right, guys. So uh, I think I figured out the recipe. So here's the minecart that we're going to be using. And then I think how you do it is you do it like this. Yeah, okay. So. And we're definitely going to need more, more iron, that's for sure. Um, all right. So to make powered rail carts or rail, rail tracks, you got to do this with gold. To stick a redstone anywhere and then sticks and then you get powered rails. Uh, we're going to need more than that, though. But we don't have enough gold for <laughs> for that. So we're going to have to find much more gold. That's for sure. Let me put these back. Up there. And then... Yeah, that should work. Okay. Uh, since we got uh, powered rails and just regular rails, that should be... Yeah, this is sh this should be what all, all that we need. I actually might need... Maybe a button. I'm gonna need two buttons for um how do you make a button? Can you not make a wooden button? I might need to make a stone button. Hang on. Let's try that. Let's try to see if we can make a stone button because I've I could have swore I could make a wooden button, but I guess not. I don't know. I guess there isn't any wood buttons. Let's see. Oh, okay, so... I can't even make stone buttons, which is weird. Okay, so... You guys probably won't believe this, but I, ha I had to look it up, and for some reason I was having trouble looking this up. But if I go over here to this furnace and grab the cobblestone that I'm crafting, um, you can see that I have two. Now in modern Minecraft, you probably place one, bam, a stone button, or bam, you know, wooden button would be one wood. Um, but if you do it like this, you got sticks. But what's weird is with stone, if you do it the same way with wood that you're making sticks, two stone for one wood button versus it used to be just one stone. So like, <laughs> I just don't understand that. And come to think of it, I actually probably need uh, one more. So I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but it's fine. It is fine. <laughs> but that kind of just blew my mind a little bit because, like, it makes me wonder uh, some of the recipes it takes that are that, that are changed from this version. Also, something else, guys. Uh, look at how different the texture for pressure stone pressure plates are, and look at this. They are massive when you drop them on the ground. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. I don't know why they look so weird like that. Alright, so let's make our other button. Bam. There we go. Now we got all the resources that we need. We still need to go find more gold. And I'm sure we will at some point. And then we'll be able to finish our uh, rail cart system. Be able to get back outside. And I don't know how far back I wanted to get. Like Maybe like right around here is where I was thinking. Um, but in the next episode, we are probably going to try to complete this objective possibly um and, or maybe we might do this objective but i'd like to finish this objective build the rail system uh so yeah so that's what we'll do and then we may work on this after after that i want it to be at least one objective per episode completed depending on how long it takes to complete that objective because i kind of want that episode's theme to be that objective instead of completing like three, four, five, ten different objectives. But like I said, unless it's like something small like finding more diam diamonds or getting more iron or naming home base, like you don't want a whole video dedicated to naming home base. So like if it's big projects like build a mountain in the base or build a wall around the base, um, explore the landscape, tree farm, rail system, uh, blah, 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 finish, finish mountain tower. Um, if it's stuff like that, then it's going to probably be dedicated to one episode. Un unless, uh, oh, I mean, unlike, hey, chicken. 
I'm like, uh, <laughs> I swear, I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, but like, I swear, like, there's, there's just things distract me all the time. <laughs> I'm a maybe undiagnosed ADHD. I don't know. Do some of you have ADHD out there that can like tell me symptoms of having ADHD or how do you know if you have it, even if you haven't been diagnosed? I don't know. I just, I can't really, uh, can't really, uh, I don't know. I was just looking at Oslo, but um, I'm going to go ahead and sleep and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye.